Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I am going to show you how to make this really fun summer card. And I've used this bundle before, but I have to say this is one of the best bundles um, that I own. It's got spring, summer, winter, and fall in it, and a set of framelits. These are called the Seasonal Layers Framelits and the Colorful Season Stamp Set. Remember the Adriandak chair card that I made with the fun background? This is really an awesome stamp set. I love this branch. And on Monday, I showed you a card using the scallop edge. So that's also a very fun edgelet. So let's get started, and I'll show you how to make it. I'm going to start out here with our cardstock layers. I've got a card base of dapper denim, and this is four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it here at five and a half. So we'll give it a good burnish. I've got a layer at four by five and a quarter, and this is for the inside of our card. And then I've got a layer of crushed curry that's also four by five and a quarter. A piece of Color Theory Designer Series paper that's two and three quarters by five and an eighth. And also another piece here out of the same Designer Series paper stack. That's one and a quarter by five and an eighth. And then I've got a scrap of Whisper White. Let me show you this color theory paper stack. This is in the catalog on page 187, and you get all of these designs. I love the crackled paint layers. And also like the paint swatches, these, they come in Dapper Denim, Berry Burst, Crushed Curry, and Old Olive. And if you've been watching me and watching my videos, you know I've been using a lot of the enamel dots. And that is the exact same color palette as the Color Theory. These are part of the Color Theory suite, so very cool. All right, let's get some stamping done here. I'm gonna take this scrap and I'm going to stamp this little glass with the straw in it, which I think is so cute. And I'm just gonna stamp this a couple times and I'm going to take this over to my Big Shot and cut it out with this cute little framelit. Isn't that adorable? Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, the other thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna stamp directly on our designer series paper. I always think that's a really cool technique to use and if your paper is very subtle and light colored you can do that of course you can emboss on it too if you want to use white embossing powder but I'm using dapper denim ink and I'm going to stamp the beach chair oh look at all that ink I got on the edge of my stamp I'm going to wipe that off first because I don't want any problems here so I'm going to stamp my beach chair and then I'm going to come in with the part that you sit on. I'm going to stamp that right in between. Just like that. Isn't that neat? It looks kind of 3D-ish too. I really like that. And then we have the greeting, life is a beautiful thing and isn't that the truth? Oh, by the way, I have an update on my husband. He just got released to take his um, neck collar off for, you know, an hour today, maybe two hours tomorrow, three or four hours the next day. So he just got released to be able to do stuff now. So I'm super excited. Now I'm going to bring in these little drinks. Aren't they cute? Just adorable. I forgot to show you those when I got done die cutting them. I'm sorry about that. We've got these mini dimensionals. And if you don't have any of these yet, I highly recommend them because they fit perfectly on these tiny little objects. You don't have to be cutting dimensionals apart and having them stick all over your scissors and all that kind of nonsense. So I'm just going to put my little drinks. Oops. I'm going to put one here by my lawn chair so that my imaginary person can reach it. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to put another one right over here in the corner. And now we're ready to assemble our card. We're going to put this piece on the crushed curry, and it's got a very thin border. I just wanted that little pop of color, and this one is gonna layer over the top just a little bit. It doesn't butt up against it, it's just gonna lay over the top a little bit. So here we go. 
with some liquid glue. That looks a little crooked. There we go. Again, I love the sliding of the glue. Oh, this crinkled or crackled paint look is really pretty on the other side too. There we go. Then we've got this mini chevron ribbon that I thought would look really cute on here. It's a great accent. And this is how I like to do my ribbon. I like to cut it so it's a little bit longer than my cardstock layer. And I'm gonna take some real tape and tape that on the back. Here's another tip for you. I'm gonna take some snail and I'm just gonna put it right on here to help my ribbon stay in place because I don't like that when your ribbon's flopping around. I'm gonna put some more right here. And another piece of tape on the back. Hold it in place. There we go. Then I'm gonna take my ribbon and tie a single knot right here. And I do this for a couple reasons. Number one, it saves a little bit on ribbon, not that much. And I leave it attached to my spool too, because if you had to cut it, you're gonna to have to cut four inches to be able to maneuver it with your fingers. But I leave it attached to my spool. And you only have a single knot here now, so you don't have any problems with shipping and having to pay extra postage because there's not a big bump in there. It's just a little bump. And you could put a piece of cardstock over the front of this, like a scrap that's the same size, and I just slide it right into my envelope like that so you don't have any bumps that cause distress to your postal service because they get pretty ornery about that, don't they? <laughs> we know that. I think they don't really like stampers, and they really should because, let's face it, there's not a lot going on with the mail these days, and uh, we are supporting them, so they need to start treating us nicer. How do you feel about that? I think that's a true statement, isn't it? They need to stop giving us dirty looks when we bring the bumpy mail in. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to pop a few of these glitter enamel dots around my project because that's gonna give me the little bit of glimmer that I want. And I'm just randomly putting them around here. And then we've got the inside left. And what I decided to do on the inside of my card was stamp these little flowers because I just thought they were really really cute so I'm just gonna stamp off the edge a little bit and make them look pretty random and because they look so uniform I'm gonna come in and do a little bit of something here so that they don't look so random and I did pretty good right okay we can put this inside our card and then we only have one thing left can you guess what it is you know if you've been following me, you know what else I have to do yet. So you know it's time for our envelope and I want to stamp that up so it looks really cute too. I am going to take the greeting from the stamp set, You Make Me Smile, and I'm inking that up with my finger <laughs> in some dapper denim and I'm just going to stamp that right over here in the corner. And then I've got this cute little flower, and I'll put that in the crushed curry and stamp that right down here. And now we have an adorable envelope with our awesome card ready to go in the mail. Now, this Color Theory Suite. Anybody who orders this Colorful Seasons and Seasonal Layers or a $50 order if you would like it, I have a tutorial of 14 different cards, including this one, with all the instructions, dimensions, ingredients that I will be sharing with everyone who places a $50 order with me or orders this bundle. So if you've already ordered this bundle from me, pop me an email. I'm gonna try and go through my orders and see who did that, but I'm gonna be on vacation here for a week. If you know that you have this, pop me an email and I will send you this tutorial. You're gonna love it. There's some great ideas and there's 
um, and I think an even number of each season. So winter, summer, spring, and fall, um, you're going to get a great sampling of ideas to use with this whole suite. And it's pretty much kind of limited to this suite too. Um, there's a few extra products that were used in it, but not much. So that's a great benefit. Don't forget, I have an incentive while I'm away in Thailand. If you place a $50 order, I send you a card kit with six cards, six designer series papers, and a sampling of ribbon. If your order is $100, I send you 12 card bases and designer series papers along with a ribbon sampling also. So we've got that going on. Bonus days is happening right now. Stampin' Up! will give you a $5 coupon to use in August when your order reaches $50 during July. So for every $50, you get a $5 coupon to use in August. So that's pretty exciting. And we have our discount shopper kit that comes with a bunch of additional product. And its value is $209.50 and it's only 99 bucks. So check out all these details are on my blog post with this card www.astampabove.com and this is going to be posted on July 14th. So check it out. You can also go to my YouTube channel, look for this video. Underneath the video is a description. The link will be right in there also so you can get right to here. I am going to let you go. Like I said, I am in Thailand right now and I am really enjoying myself, I'm sure. <laughs> Actually, while I'm making this video, I'm at home sitting in my in my stamping studio, right? But you're going to be watching this when I'm in Thailand. So thanks again for your support. Um, your orders are greatly appreciated, and I couldn't be on this vacation without you. I just want you to know how much I appreciate you. Thanks so much, you guys, and you have a wonderful day.